The Division 2's new season, The Price of Power, is now live and people are already complaining about the state of the game. I can't help but think, it's really not that serious. Oh, The Division 2 has new bugs and issues? In other news, water wet. Let's talk about it. Good afternoon, or good morning, hope you're having a good day. I'm here to talk about why there's really no need to be up in arms about the state of the game right now. Firstly, I'm your friendly neighborhood Delta and I'm back with another Division 2 video. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing for more weekly Division 2 content. We're almost to our 1500 subscriber goal and I couldn't be more excited. Having any subscribers on YouTube is awesome and I super appreciate all the new people coming to watch my videos and obviously my day one subscribers as well. You know who you are. Thank you again if you decide to watch my videos, your viewership is what lets me keep making them. In addition, I also have a community Discord. If you want to continue the discussion from the channel in the comment section, then we can do so in there. There's also LFG channels for all platforms and general chats for all the different games that I cover. I'd love to see you over there, link is in the description. But enough beating around the bush, let's get into the video now. So as many of you are already aware, the Division 2's new season, The Price of Power, went live on Tuesday to, mm, let's just say, less than optimal reception within the Division 2 community. In this update, the game received a variety of new features and a ton of new weapons, new gear pieces, exotics, new countdown difficulties, and so on. The list of new items and features that came out with this update rivals that of Title Update 15. Much of this update was focused on refining the experience based on the feedback that the community gave to the developers throughout the Title Update 15 cycle and the PTS, particularly regarding Countdown, hence the new difficulty modes, and so on. Furthermore, The Division 2's new season, The Price of Power, also continues the seasonal manhunt story, which as many of you are no doubt aware by now, is actually pretty good, so now we have an actually good story to go out and do to keep the progression going within the storyline. More in line with the seasonal content, we finally now have Black Tusk control points. These are located down in the southwest region of the map, and they're actually pretty difficult. The community has been asking for that for a super long time now, but now that we do in fact actually have those, they're really nothing to sneeze at, difficulty-wise. The seasonal content feels pretty well-tuned, and it's difficult enough to feel like it's an actual challenge that we're facing along with the seasonal narrative beats so that they hit even harder after finishing the gameplay portion. That's an aside, though. What I'm saying is the quality of the seasonal story is becoming better. What I'm saying is, though, we've got new exotics, new weapons, new gear pieces, new brand sets, new seasonal stories, more variations and control points, new difficulty modes for countdown, quality of life changes, especially regarding the specialization, weapon, which a lot of people have been asking for. I mean, to me, this is the kind of stuff that the community was begging for when we were in that year-long content drought. But recently, a lot of people and community members have been arguing that the current issues that plague the game are overshadowing the release of the new content. I'd like to argue a counterpoint as to why that shouldn't really be the case. First of all, the known issues board has been updated to show all the current bugs and issues that the game is facing right now. Just the sheer fact that we have a portal directly into the development process of the game that we all love is huge, and it's something that we've never seen seen before from this franchise. Not only that, but we all knew that this content was going to release before the majority of the bugs are fixed, and we knew that there were some that the team has decided to save for the title update 16.1 update, which we know will be released within the next week or so. But regardless of that, people are still complaining about the state of the game. And yes, I know everyone is entitled to their feelings and their opinions, the point of me making this video is to try and show a different perspective, a bigger picture sort of view perhaps. So with that in mind, I decided to go ahead and ask my community what they thought about the new update and what their preference would be regarding the new content and quality checks for the update. As a side note, I do these polls quite regularly, so please consider subscribing if you want to see these and get your opinion out there. Are you upset about the issues with Title Update 16? Visual bugs, some quality of life changes that didn't make it in, etc. Or do you think the majority of the content being available, the new season, new manhunt, new gear, exotics, and weapons, take center stage? Let me know. As you can see, we are approaching 30 responses, and once we hit 30 responses with this poll, it becomes a representative sample of the population of Division 2 players by the fundamental theories of statistics. Not only that, but it's close enough to already be conclusive though. 71% of respondents said no, it would be nice if they worked at launch, but it's not a huge deal. While only 29% of respondents responded, yes, if it's not perfect, I don't want it, delay the update. Which was really interesting to me. What I think is happening here is the case of the notoriously short memory of the gaming industry. You see, gamers tend to forget things. Take for example Call of Duty fans who buy the same exact game every year even though they swore they would never buy another one again because the last three have not lived up to their expectations, or what have you. If we were dealing with this issue last year and in the middle of the year-long content drought, I think more people would be asking for new content regardless of a few visual bugs that we knew would be fixed within the next week or so. Now it seems that Division 2 community members would prefer the update be delayed in order to make it the best possible quality. Recently, all the criticism leveled against the game at the moment goes something like this. 
XYZ bug is affecting XYZ item, but yeah, it's gonna be fixed next week. Okay, so if you're really upset about that, then why not take a short break until the issues that you have a problem with are fixed? That's one of the healthiest things that you could do when it comes to an issue that you're dealing with and you feel really strongly about it. Take a break and then come back to it. Report your feedback, play a different game, etc. Believe me, the best feedback that you can give to a developer is to stop playing their game and enabling such behavior. Here's a comment on my poll that actually resonated pretty well with me. American Primate says, and I hope it's okay that I read this out in a video, for me, for me, family, personal health, and work are all higher priorities than a video game despite how much I love and enjoy the product. Playing The Division is a hobby where I go to escape. If it got to a point where it was stressing me out and I wasn't enjoying my time, I would quit playing before I ever started attacking developers or other community members. So I think this comment really exemplifies a great attitude towards the game and how to balance your mental health when it comes to a game that we all care about. Believe me, if I didn't like The Division 2, I don't think I could make content on it or play it often at all. I take breaks to deal with school, work, be with friends, family, etc. My point in saying this is that the game will work itself out and the relevant issues will be fixed in due time. We know for a fact that The Division 2 is confirmed to have content for the rest of year 4 and the entirety of year 5. We have at least a year and a half of new content coming to look forward to, so that gives the devs a lot of time to work out all the bugs and the issues that naturally will arise. There's a lot of people talking about how the game is broken, the devs should be better, etc. This game is trash, the yada yada yadas, the game's dead. Those people will always be there. You choose how much you want to feed into that negative negative attitude, but I have always been someone who likes to be positive. It's more fun to be positive. And sure, you can have a problem with the game. Go through the relevant channels, you know, report it to the developers. Being online and saying, oh, the game is broken, it never should have been released like this, etc. It's kind of counterproductive. We know, the developers know, that the game was not ready. Massive clearly made a choice that they were ready to release this update with the bugs that they knew would be in there. That's clearly deliberate on their point, because they had all the feedback that they needed from the PTS's phase 1 and 2, and yet yet they still decided to release it in the broken state. My point in saying this is that we're not game developers. We can't pretend to know exactly what their process is, but there is obviously a method to the madness. Division 2 didn't reach 40 million players after the Warlords of New York expansion for no reason. The Division didn't become the highest selling new IP in history because Massive doesn't know what they're doing. That's all for me. Please be sure to leave a comment letting me know what you think, and be sure to like the video and subscribe for more weekly Division content. What do you think about the state of the game right now? Do you think I'm completely off base here? Are you the kind of person who'll stop playing the game until it's fixed, or you're going to keep playing regardless of the issues. At any rate, I've been your friendly neighborhood Delta, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Go ahead, get out of here. What are you still doing here?